Have you seen how busy it's getting out there? We're amazed in a year and a half that we've been covering Dean's business, Rave Coffee, how much he's expanded. Not only is he roasting, his coffee shop keeps growing. Whenever we see him, there's a new addition to the shop and it's bumping here in Canmore. And with so many coffee choices around, we can't believe it. It's not just about the two cowboy flat white. We need to get a little more sophisticated with our coffee choices. So come with me, let's go have a chat and find out why things are going so well. Things have been a bit hectic around here. It's been very hectic. You've just launched your, your, your Rave Coffee box, yeah. that's what I call it. So this is kind of the, the second part of that. So we launched the subscription boxes last year. And this one here is a sample box. What makes this a little different is um, we've got coffee from a farm called La Reforma in El Salvador. And the coffee is processed at the same time, but in different, different ways. So we've got a coffee process in a washed, uh, and a honey and a natural. Yeah. What's the difference between the various ones? Natural, washed, honey? Yeah, so traditionally coffee is washed. So they'll pick the cherries, they'll remove the cherry, uh, wash the coffee bean and let it dry. As a natural, um, they'll actually let the coffee bean sit in the cherry uh, from anywhere between 10 and 14 days. Uh, and it ferments um, the coffee bean in there. So you end up with a lot of really fruity flavors. The honey is kind of in between, so they're actually removed the outer part of the cherry and let it sit in its mucilage. Um, and that promotes a lot of sweetness in the coffee. So I will taste the difference between the three samples. Yeah, even though it's the same coffee process, same farm, same time, they're all completely different. So it's a great way of showcasing how the processing of the coffee affects the flavor. We've got them on display in the cafe, um, so anyone can come in and pick them up anytime, um, but you can also order online. This is what makes your business so unique. You call an artisan roaster, right? Yeah. Yeah? Meaning that you can really bring people different flavors, different beans from all kinds of places in the world and, and, and take us on a journey as far as coffee is concerned. The fact that you keep on growing, that it gets busier, that your coffee are traveling far and wide. I know we've taken some of it to New Zealand. Those are all big pluses, and we're so glad that we can drink your coffee, my friend. Thank you very much. Should we say cheers on that one? Cheers.